consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work in you, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. This was true for the Apostle James. This was true for Jesus who says, this is true for being followed likewise in her example of faith. Through joy, or to the child. On behalf of the Citizens family, I wish to welcome everyone here this afternoon. To thank you all for being here today and sharing this time together, sharing the time spent with one another and with Jesus. Some are as beloved family, some long standing friends, neighbors. And church family, for one whose life was marked by generosity and kindness. Aubrey, Ray, and Nikki, Aubrey Lee, Emily, and Wayne, and your families. We, your friends, your neighbors, your brothers and sisters in Christ, gather. And we join with those from afar, but who are here in spirit, that together we may offer every consolation and comfort during this time. And alongside you, we give thanks to poor God for Jenny Sue's many accomplishments, her countless graces. We are met by the Holy Spirit as we share sorrow with you and our love for you. We do this with grateful hearts before God. We affirm our faith in God's unfailing goodness, to hear again God's everlasting love and the divine power of eternal life. We thank the Lord for Jesus. We are thankful for God for her witness, her walk, her work, her family, her faithfulness to so many. Thankful for the home of love that she crafted and the care found within, both for family and their friends. And we thank God for allowing us to know a moment of this composition, as precious as my time, as strong as raw iron. And we're thankful for those who knew her and loved her and were loved by her. Please. Join me in prayer that together at the end we will share the Lord's prayer. So then let us pray. Gracious and loving God, you are the author of all life. We come from you in birth and in death we return to you. So be with us now. For we bring before you both grief and gratitude. Jenny Sue was part of so many lives. She was dearly loved, and she was greatly missed. We bring to you our gratitude for all that she meant, all that she shared, and all that she gave of herself. We bring to you our thanksgiving that for Jenny Sue, there is no longer anything to fear. No more unclear days. No more frailty. That she is with you and with those she enjoyed during her long life who preceded her into their eternal home. She is at peace. Come now, renew our faith and grant us a measure of the same peace as we together pray the prayer that Jesus all who believe to pray. Our Father, who are to heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us this day, and forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debt. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
So in the midst of all of us, there can be a contentedness for a life well lived, well shared. For having some measure of the, the role of life in the company of one as graceful as Jesus soon, as each of our walks across. We have Jesus on the battle assurance. I know it's a prepared place for you. Audrey, you and Jesus were born to know little of the world that your grandchildren enjoy today. There were no McDonald's, there were no indoor playgrounds, no texting friends, no streaming movies. She and you only knew work, hard work. As the world around taught you both not only reading and writing and arithmetic, but you were born into a world that taught of want and need in the depth of the Great Depression until school age. The radio had been carrying the news of war in many countries during the 30s, leading to when the both of you were in the second grade when America was attacked at Pearl Harbor and pulled into World War II. What a way to begin life. In the teeth of the greatest migration economic tragedy our country has ever faced, only then to have that fall by the great and terrible war. But Aubrey, you as a builder, so too, Jenny Sue. She built ministry from so much of what the Bible lists as the ministry of reconciliation. All this through her day and walk. In life, our success, our happiness, our safety is never ours alone. All of it relies as much upon the actions of those around us, those in our community, as much as our own behavior. And Jesus is the postcard of why this is true. Active in our family, active in our community, active in our church. Active within her family, she helped build lives that could know also the contentedness that comes from hard work and great love, of sacrifice, and of joy. Her Bishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, states that the pattern for many years is to be exalted in life and forgotten in death. The pattern for all who serve God, famous or obscure, respected or ignored, is that death is the door to glory. So we do know that we hope, as Paul says, we grieve that not as the world grieves, we grieve with those who have the hope of God's word. So we know that what the days ahead and we bring are unknown, but we know the one who brings the days ahead. And how God works for our joy, God plans for our well being, for our prosperity. That all things work for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to God's purpose. So, with your family around you, my brother, with your friends, and a life of memories one can only imagine standing from the rest of it. Neighbors in another state, neighbors here, lifelong friends. All of this is still a blessing. We're blessed to have had you and Jesus. You remain blessed as we share it with one another, all of our great lives to stay. Heavenly God, we give you thanks for the gift of this life. We thank you for the long life gift to Jesus, for the years you gave her, for the character and the quality of you within her. We thank you for her life, for every memory of love and joy, 
For every good deed she quieted with one, for every sorrow she shared with another. We thank you for the rest of Christ she now enjoys. Thank you for giving James to us for such a long, full, and faithful life. And we praise you for the glory that we shall share with her together for eternity. Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Thank you. 